Welcome to Virgin Media. This video will take you through setting up your new kit step by step. It'll take just over an hour. First off, let's start by installing your broadband. For this bit, you'll need the hub, which will look like one of these, hub power supply, connector cable, and isolator cable. You can pause the video now while you get them together. This will take about 30 minutes. Ready? First, connect the end of the isolator cable with the black band to the socket marked wall on the connector cable. Cables are push fit. Test they are securely connected by pulling them gently. Then connect the cable with the red end to the wall socket. Remember to check it secure. Take the free end of the blue banded cable and connect it to the hub. Connect the Ethernet cable to your new hub. Push it firmly into place. Connect the power supply. Then plug the power supply into the mains. Connect the other end to the hub. Switch on at the mains and at the back of the hub. Your Wi-Fi network will be called something like VM123456. All the details you need to get online are on the bottom of your hub and on the little card. Now we're going to set up Virgin TV 360. For this bit, you'll need the Virgin TV 360 box, its power supply, remote control, and the supplied HDMI cable. Feel free to pause the video now while you get everything you need. This should take 15 minutes. Join the two parts of the power supply together. Attach the connector cable with the white end to the socket of your new box. Connect the other end of the Ethernet cable from the hub before connecting the supplied HDMI cable to the box and to your TV. Take a note of the name of the HDMI port. Virgin TV 360 supports 4K. If you have a 4K TV, connect to a 4K HDCP 2.2 compliant socket. If you aren't sure, check your TV manual. Connect the power supply and then plug the 360 box into the mains. Switch it on at the wall and on the back of the box. On your TV remote, push the input button. It might be labeled AV or source. Then scroll to the HDMI port you connected the cable to. When you see the welcome screen, pull the tab out of your 360 remote. Using your remote, follow the on-screen instructions for setting up via Wi-Fi. Once you've got a good connection, your 360 box will start downloading the latest software. The update will take up to 10 minutes and will involve one restart. Get more from your kit by watching telly wherever you are with the Virgin TV Go app at no extra cost. Set and stream recordings and control your Virgin TV 360. Access live TV and on-demand content on up to five devices. Last up, we need to get your home phone connected. For this bit, you'll need the new cable or the adapter. You can pause the video now while you get them together. This should take about five minutes. If you've decided to transfer your old number to us, please remember this may take up to 10 days. In the meantime, you can use the temporary number we've supplied. First, disconnect the cable from the back of your old phone. It should pop out easily, but depending on your phone, it may need a bit of elbow grease. Once you've removed the cable, replace it with the one we provided. Plug this cable into the top grey port on your hub. If you can't remove the cable from your phone, use the adapter provided. Simply plug the adapter into the top grey port 
and then plug the cable into the adapter. Allow a couple of minutes for the phone to be recognized by the hub, check the phone for a dial tone, and make a test call to check everything is working. And that's it, you're done, nice one. Go to virginmedia.com forward slash help for more help and support.